My name is Devendra Yadav. I work as a lead SQ engineer for BMC Software. In this video, I'll be discussing how to configure UDDI when you have a server group environment. Here we have three servers running in the server group. And when you install UDDI, it asks for primary server details and installer pushes user password and location to primary servers AR.CFG during installation. So once installation is done, primary server is aware of all the UDDI and it can talk to UDDI for all the calls. But secondary and tertiary servers are not having information about UDDI. They, they don't have the location, they don't have the credentials. So they cannot talk to UDDI. To make these server capable of talking to UDDI, all the configuration which has been pushed to primary server by installer needs to be replicated on these servers. To replicate all the configuration, there are two ways to do it. The first one is you copy these three parameters from primary servers AR.CFG and replicate it on all other servers in the server group and they will need a restart after replicating these settings. The other way is via mid-tier. To update UDDI details on any server from mid-tier, you need to connect to that particular server from mid-tier. Then go to AR System Administration Console. Go to Systems, General, Server Information. Here go to WS Registry Integration tab and you need to provide your UDDI URL, which will be typically your server name, port and UDDI and username and password. Once you apply these settings, the configuration for AR will be updated to connect to UDDI server. Same steps needs to be repeated for all the servers in the server group. So you need to connect to your all server one by one via mid-tier and follow the same steps to update the UDDI information.